Oh's in this house, there's some holes in this house. Oh's in this house, there's some holes in this house. I don't know what this dance is. I think I was starting to do the the Britney. Oh, that would be a good oh, oh wait, no wait. How does it go? Oh, oh. oh you have to step up, I think. Oh my god, it's the Britney dance. Oh, oh uh, I can do it. Yeah, that's it. Holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. Alright. Am I, are you up high enough? Okay. I mean, this is as good as I'm probably going to get it. So do it this. Can't really see. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Well, as long as I keep it. The good thing about having a fake stove. I guess it's not fake, but like. A stove that is not real. Or not gas and not like the burners. <sighs> Hello and welcome. Okay, so this is what I have decided to do. I have to start on a brownie mix at some point. I'm not going to do that in this video. But I did want to... Okay, I still have the rest of the batter from the other day. I am so hungry. I have to like eat lunch. I was like, maybe I'll do that first. And I'm like, no, because I'm not going to want to like do this after that. Whatever. And this always takes me, it's always like a while, but this is going to be a lot faster because the dough has been chilling. So last time I only used half the batter. The cookies ended up, remember I was like, I'm going to come back and show you blah, blah, blah. Never came back. And I was like, I'm over this. The cookies turned out too cakey. Personally, I think they were too dry as well. They didn't really get that crumble. What I'm thinking is, and I've gotten that crumble before. I've gotten that crunch. But I know I used way more coconut flour. And I forgot that the time that I got that, I had also used cocoa. Like cacao. Which is also very drying. So I was like, oh, that's, I think, contributed to how crunchy it was. But you can still get a very crunchy cookie. I don't know why it's not happening for me. Anyway, so I was just thinking, like, okay, I still have half of this, like, dough chilling in my fridge. It's been chilling in there for days. I had to look up, like, how long can you just eat dough? Because originally I was like, maybe I'll add an egg so it's not so dry. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I read that the longer you chill dough, I mean, you can only do it for three to five days. I think it's day three now. It's probably different rules when you're doing it with, uh, you know, like different like nut flowers and all of those. So, like I hear myself, and this is like the most boring bullshit I could talk about, but it's like I know I'm gonna wanna go back and be like, why didn't I do it? Like I have to say this on record. Um, anyway, so I was making a different method I would use today. Instead of scooping them, just part of the thing is like, cookie scoop. Oh, I also wanted to, sh I should have showed you the batter. I should have come back for that last video because the batter was very crumbly and I was like, normally I don't let the batter get this crumbly. But because I had so many like snafus with not getting the right texture before, I'm gonna, um, hold on. I'm gonna like just bake it anyway, even though it's like very crumbly. So, this is the mixture that I have with the egg white. And I think the cookie scoop, there's, it's very hard to flatten it out, at least with this particular batter. A lot of times I'll do it like after a few minutes it's been in the oven, I'll like, you know, put a spoon on the top and just kind of smoosh them down each way. I'm going to attempt to just roll the dough by hand into like, you know, like one of those cookie logs that cookie dough logs that you would do at the store and just slice it because I really am going for like a regular sliced cookie and it'll probably only make a couple because it's like half a batter and it wasn't that many to begin with. I, only, I think I only put like maybe 12 on the last plate tray. Tray. Let's call it tray. On top of that I just put a paper towel over it because I was like, oh, I'm going to do it later. So I didn't even put part of the paper. Let me see. I don't know if this is a good idea at all, actually. So, I mean, this is so crumbly. Yeah, I think that's why I was like, oh, I'm going to add, like, 
egg to it or something. Whatever. I'm just gonna work it by hand. While I talk to you, I'm gonna like roll it into a dough. It's like I think, I, I'm always like, oh, I have so much to talk about. <laughs> I either talk about it to myself, like alone, and then I forget to like say it. Oh! Okay, so I do have stuff to talk about. This stuff to talk about being like idiotic things that I like to talk about. Okay, so one of them is freaking Dave Roll, who is so funny, made, okay, so I don't even really know the whole thing. Like, I don't know the whole story. I didn't really follow it that close, but there's some girl that's like 10 who's a really good drummer. And I guess they've been doing like a battle back and forth of videos. Is that somebody knocking on my door? I can never tell. I'm like, is somebody trying to talk to me? Okay. So. Whatever. And her name is Mandy. Okay, that's all you really need to know. And I guess they've been doing like some sort of challenge back and forth of drumming. Like, okay, now I challenge you to top this or whatever. And he made a video with his daughter, who I also... Like, I like, okay, so I was gonna start this out. Okay, I have more to say on this, but basically, it's this song where he, like, has his daughters call themselves the Rollettes, first of all. So cute. And the song is, like, him drumming, and they're like, Nandy! Her name is Nandy. And, like, I've been singing it for days. Like, I, like, fall asleep, and I'm trying to fall asleep, and all of a sudden, I'm like, Nandy! And it's so cute. He's like, best drummer in the world. His kids are like, Nandy! And he's like, I don't know, like, number one super girl. It is so cute. I watched it like 17 times this morning alone. That being said, I was like, if I... Is that somebody knocking? I... The walls were like so thin. I don't know what's going on Okay, so I need to roll this more. It is really like very little moisture. I've never really like rolled a dough log before. You can't really even see what I'm doing. Okay. I mean, I would imagine you do that. Anyway, I was like, I am always thinking of reality shows that I could executive produce. I need, that's like my calling, I think, because I'm always like, I have an eye for like star potential. I have such an ego, is what that is. But I do, I'm like, there are so many people that are low key famous or not famous enough. I'll tell you why I'm not taking April in a second. That's obviously not part of that. But like, I was like, oh, it'd be so funny if he had like a Kardashian style. I know the word of that just would make him be like, what the Kardashians? But no, like a, like a sitcom style family reality show where like, just like him and his like daughters, like they are such a funny combo. And he is like such a girl dad before that was ever a word or whatever, like a term. Like he's so like any, anytime he's ever talked about his daughters, like he has this one daughter, Violet, who like went on stage with him. I mean, he's always so funny about it. He'll be like, yeah, it was my daughter Violet. Oh, she's not at home doing homework tonight. She's on stage for a million people doing rock and roll. And like, <laughs> and she's just like, dad, stop. Like in front of like a stadium full of people that are just like, ah, yeah. And like, just like Dave Grohl as a dad is just such a funny and like, why do we not have the Osbournes version of this yet? Is it because you don't want to exploit your family? Like, I guess. So, if I could, okay. So, because uh, I've been thinking of great reality shows that I should invent. That's one of them. That's my number one dream to see, like, Dave and the Girl as, as a reality series full time. Like, including the, like, plot lines that they have. This is turning out really well, by the way. I didn't think this would work, but this is, like, a log. Anyway. Like, you know, like the Kardashians would have plot lines. I don't know, like, just goofy things. Like, you know, dad buried a million dollars in the yard and now we have to, like, go figure out where it is. Or 
just like funny, family friendly, wholesome things. For, and then like every now and then, I don't know, I think April is just such a funny personality. Anyway, Monday, I keep like, I keep wanting to scream that. So I was like, let me explain what that is before I start doing it. Not realizing. What are the other reality shows? I think Sophia, Sophie Anderson, I always want to call her Sophia Anderson. Sophie Anderson and Rebecca Moore, I believe is her name. They're both the funniest porn stars ever. I don't watch their porn either, so that's how you know they're like really good. Um, I don't know, they're so funny, and like, it's like, why do they not have a show? Like, somebody needs to like go around with the camera with them. Especially like, oh, I don't have my, so I gotta, you know I'm like obsessed with shirts. I'm like, oh, I wish I had my Sophie shirt on, but she is so fun. Like, Sophie will like get on and be like, I don't know. She, okay, so to give you context, if you don't know who they are, they have like triple R breasts. Like, they are so large. They are like, I don't want to say comically oversized, like that's mean. And I'm sure like, and I think people are rude to them in real life about it. Like I think when they're in public, you know, it's like so like in your face, but they are so funny and like, so like they have the sweetest personalities too. And like, they're, they're from Britain. I don't know, London, somewhere, somewhere in there. And Sophie, I don't want to say Sophie's my favorite. Okay, Rebecca, I don't know. They're, it's so hard to explain why they're so funny, but like, so people just like get on Instagram out of nowhere and be like, hello, all my guys and girlies and non binary friends, I love you so much. Today I'm going to talk about abandonment while I'm driving for dick. So, abandonment is a very harsh thing in my life. I mean, it is like so, like, it's like, she's like so sincere and sweet and also funny without trying to be. Okay, Dave and the Rolettes, Sophie and Rebecca. There's another one where I was like, that would be such a good reality show. There's so many, probably Selena Powell, but she's so much strong. It's like, I think like Love and Hip Hop has tried to scoop up Selena and it's like, she needs her own show. She is like her own 24 hour drama. It must be so exhausting to be her friend in real life. Like, you know, like, I feel for AJ. Cause it's like, when you have to like, listen to how much that person, like your friend is in a toxic relationship or whatever. And like, you have to be there to be like the shoulder for them to cry on over it for months and months. And then they end up like getting back with them and you're supposed to just suddenly be cool with it. Like, She has to be like so tired from this week alone. You know who else is probably very tired is Lena. I was like, she must be so fucking over this drama. She's like at home pregnant. Like I'm so over Selena being like the topic of our entire lives every day. There was a lot of drama. All right, so I guess this is a long enough log. Should I just sell like cookie dough logs like this? No, that would be a refrigerated item. That would be harder to do. I'm not even gonna. Am I supposed to like <laughs> drive in for dick? Um. Okay, let me get first. Hold on. So. Anyway, I was like, I need to become a reality show content producer. I got all the sweet ideas. What am I? Should I just do a butter knife? No, I guess I'll do like. I mean, this seems like very unnecessary, this size knife, but let's just. Best drummer in the world! We're not a lost in the girl! All right, so it's like kind of crumbling apart. They need to be flatter though, is what I concluded. But the way I make them flatter, is not usually before while the dough is still on. Nanay! Best drummer in the world! Nanay! I just think it's like, the combination of like teenage girls, who's texting? Hello. Oh, shit. I 
I filmed these on my phone, so I'm like, let me see who's texting me. I always get so confused when people are like on their phones while they're filming. I'm like, how are they doing that? Oh, they buy real cameras. <laughs> they take it a little more seriously. Mandy! Best show in the world. I mean, it is so good. Like, it, make, it makes you wish you were Mandy. You're like, this is so funny and like so good. And I wish my name was Mandy. Like, it's so good. Mandy! Best show in the world. Number one super girl. It's like, it's like such a Dave Grohl song. And there's one part where he's like, she played it for long, but she could play in his song. <laughs> so good. I had to watch it over and over today to like get out of my feelings. It was the perfect hallucio. <sighs> Shit. I wish I had known that guy's number who just texted me. The other day, I wanted to contact him and be like, yo, what's up? I got what you need. Anyway. Mandy! Best jar in the world. Number one super girl. I wonder if that's copywritten. Like, is that gonna show up in the YouTube algorithm? Like, this is a copywritten content material, you can't use it. It would say that even when I, like, I've never tried to monetize this channel, even when that was like a thing people could do. I know it's still a thing people could do, but I mean like for a, like a real money. Not that I have like a base, but I even remember being like, I don't think I would want to do that. Like, I feel like you would become a slave to your work, your content, your thought. Like, and I like how YouTube has kind of gone back to being like 2007 YouTube in a way. It's like no one's really making money. So the only people doing it are people who really want to be doing it. Or like, you know, like weirdos who like to film stuff. Yeah, I mean, these are kind of thick chunks, but I'm still getting a good amount. Mandy! So I had read that the lot, like if you chill your dough overnight, it'll be crunchier and crispier. I just happened to read that. I was like, I probably have to throw this dough out, right? Like it's been in there too long. And then I read that, I was like, well, I guess I'll try it. I guess I'll try it. Can't hurt to try, y'all. And normally, there's a chilling process in these videos where I'm like, I'll come back in like an hour or whatever when this is chilled. But because it's already pretty chilled, I didn't have to do that much. So they're like much flatter. Can you see that? God, the lighting in here is atrocious. No, no. Best drummer in the world. Okay. They're not that flat, but they're, and they're also way bigger than what cookie scoops would give me. So whatever, let me just put it in here. Oh, I usually use oh, the oven as a timer. I'm like, I usually use my phone for a timer. What am I gonna do? I forget this is like a thing. No, no, two. I'm gonna set it for 14 minutes just so that I don't. So I give myself an extra minute in case it needs to be pulled out faster. Go for two, two. Alright, so. Mandy! Alright, so Dave Grohl and his daughters as a reality show. I think it would be hilarious. He would probably be like, I'm not putting my daughters out on TV for a bunch of psychos to like find them. Which I get, but it would be so funny and it would be so much greater entertainment for moi, especially. Okay. I miss like family reality in that, so, like the Osbournes was so fun, like that sort of, really it's like the Kardashians is that same model though. It's like you just, you think of Kardashians and you're like, Bleh. but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like that same model of like weird, uh, famous family being normal and in like wacky scenarios so those are my three shows that I would executive produce Dave and the Rollettes Sophie and Rebecca like just their daily life I think they're just so funny and they're so much more than porn stars like they're so like 
low-key like cult stars which I love. I love the like kind of underground scene of like certain niches. It's like I'm not I don't know I don't watch a ton of porn either and I don't know I'm sure I feel like they've posted porn clips that were like you know Instagram friendly and even those are so funny like they're I'm so I'm like I'm sweating like and I. anyway um even their like I feel like even their porn is kind of like tongue like it's just but like they have such a good sense of humor I'm like why are they not on E or like on like one of these like major networks like we could watch them all day like I feel like once you start like going down the vortex you're like oh like I'm obsessed with this brand or whatever so I'm like, do I want to stand here in front of this hot ass oven for like how many more minutes? 11 and a half minutes. I've already talked about all of my talking points, I, which I never do. I'm always like, oh, I'm going to get to that. And then I don't. It's starting to smell good. It's very coconutty. My mom made the, um, when she said that, she's like, oh, it's so. And I was like, I know I used extra coconut flour, which is not what I was going for. And a lot of times I'll use butter extract to disguise the taste if it's like too coconutty. But there's not like a butter extract, like powder, like there's just butter powder, which is also what's in there. So anyway, I'm going to try a vegan cookie. I don't know, I'm making sick of cookies to like, I'm tired of trying them, but I do have to try a vegan one. And I think I'm gonna do a brownie mix next, just to like switch it up. And also, I like I always want I'm I'm always like in the mood for chocolate something, but I never know quite what. I've had a brownie recipe that I think will come out pretty good. I've had other recipes before, but they're too fudgy. Like people are like, I mean, they'll be like, these are the best fudgy, and they're like, this is like black. Like this is not just fudge. It's like you're eating black like like blackened sugar or something maybe that was somebody knocking because then somebody texted me and i'm in here like Mandy! i'm an idiot okay so best record in the world number one super girl i'm in here like number one super girl Mandy! and there's somebody like can you open up sorry she is singing the Nandy song. Okay. What else? Going through a divorce with one of my many husbands and wives. I have a lot of them. They don't know we're married. That doesn't matter. How is that my fault that you don't know we're married? Fuck you. Anyway, we're trying to figure out who's going to keep the kids, who's going to keep the dogs. It's like, obviously, you, you, you. I don't want any of it. <sighs> so hot. This is why I don't sit. This is why I'm like, I'll be back in a minute. Because it's like, what am I? Well, I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to have like this, this, and this to talk about. Hold on. Let me put some, some, some of my hair up. Anyway. Oh, I was gonna show you the demos that I was gonna work with. That's right. I probably already showed you, I don't know. So please let me burp. I feel like a huge burp just trapped right here. So I think I'm gonna go with like a matte cover. It's gonna be like, oh, in these bags. Try a glossy one and a matte one. I think I like the matte one better. This is gonna change. It's not gonna be like this full size, but this is just like the back. I think it's gonna be smaller, like probably half this size. I never get, like, nobody ever wants to talk to me until I'm like singing, Nandy! 
thing on the on my phone. And then people are like, hey, you exist. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Anyway, so, sweet Okino, don't take my name. I haven't, like, registered it. But also, I couldn't think of anything else. Like, I couldn't think of a better name. Like, like I couldn't think of something as catchy, but also not stupid. Like, I don't know. It's so hard to name stuff. My last brand name was pretty sad because I was like, that's how I feel about all of my art. It's like pretty sad. It's not good art. And it's also like pretty things I made when I was sad. But also, it's just like also just pretty sad, like in quality. So, so like you couldn't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> Is this good content right here? No, no. There's so there's some good internet. Here. If there was that little girl who was singing I'm Every Woman, ah, and her dad's in the front like, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, it was so good. So, so yeah, I want to produce reality television. Turns out, I'm pretty sure that's my calling. I'm like, do I want to start a keto business? Or do I want to start producing re reality shows? So, which I don't even, is that even a thing during COVID? It should be because it's like, we're got to be out of content like if nobody I mean everybody's back to like working in LA though it's not like I'm talking about this like it's re like it's like a real thing that could happen it could anything could happen but no I mean people are, are like back in production that's not totally out and we are gonna need shit to watch if we're all like stuck in stop inside for a lot <sighs> all right so what else I have like no updates on my, my who have I been watching? Trisha's mom. Today I was watching her video and she's like, I look like Bonnie Hunt. <laughs> I love her. I was like, yes, I guess I'm just like scanning her whole family now. It's so weird. No, nah, no, nah. which one is the bag? So I don't, the nutrition facts on here are from the recipe that I got this from, which I'm sure is some form of copyright illegality not that i would know or care right right oh so i had to figure out how to make a real nutrition fact but also it's like why i mean it is the same exact thing as this exact recipe that i pulled it from so but it's very difficult like there's like think like there's free trials for programs that you can get like is somebody going to see that i'm ignoring you i'm on my phone to like do this thing all right there's four minutes left on this let's see okay these are already starting to look like real cookies like they're i think the fact that they weren't scooped out with a uh, cookie scoop is part of it and also and they're all, they're gonna be, I can already tell they're gonna be crunchier. I'm like too hot to be doing it. Like I cannot stand in front of the oven. Even if the oven was not on, I would be like, I'm too hot. I get too hot, too fast, too furious. So I just wanted to tell you about the Nandy song. I think it's hilarious. I've been keeping up with YouTube drama like it's my friggin' job. Cause I don't have a job. <laughs> Yes, because I'm trying to turn this into my job. I was thinking maybe the local cafe that I'm friends with, maybe they would let me use their kitchen for my commercial product. Just because it's like, where am I gonna put like uh, all like you know 25 pounds of allulose, 75 pounds of almond flour? Like, where am I gonna store all that realistically? So <clears throat> I do have to like see if, we're, if I'm still cool enough with the guy who runs that coffee shop. I mean, I think he would be fine with it. So especially because there's like no business now anyway, especially for coffee shops, people just be making their coffee at home. Or maybe they are getting business, I don't know, but I don't think they're getting like tons of kitchen business. I think they have the room to keep stuff for me. And it's right down, like it's very close to me. So, and it would feel more like I'm going into work or I'm going into a job and not just like, trying to run a small business from a tiny little kitchen. But like my mom and all of my mom's friends are keto now, it's so weird. So I'm like, maybe I'm onto something like right at the tip of it or whatever. Okay, 
two and a half minutes left. Some of them have risen up to be, they're, they're not super, like they won't, not that I wanted them to stay flat. Some of them are rounding up though, which is fine. I mean, I didn't cut them super small and it was super crumbly. Like I was originally thinking, oh, I'm gonna add like an egg yolk to this with a little more water so it's not so crumbly. And try, I mean, I know it's gonna be cakey either way, but I was like, at least if it's like kind of cakey, it'll still be moist. But then my mom was like, I don't think it's dry at all. Like, I think it's very moist. Not that I trust her judgment, but again, I think when you're keto, you're just like, I'll take anything. Oh, that's right, where did she? Are these? Oh yeah, these are, okay, yeah. The mom, the mom still doesn't fully understand keto, so she freaked me out the other day, yesterday. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. I, there, there's so many things that I was like, oh, I'm like, been talking about this and this, and then I get on here, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm here for. Anyway, she was like, no, not all dark chocolate is keto. I was like, it's not, that doesn't make any sense, but. Maybe some more than others. Oh, my stomach is starting to hurt. Oh, I should have been making my sandwich while this was in there if I have to be standing here. I really need a sandwich. No, no. How many times did I do that before it's old? So, we're dressed real dumb yesterday. Is this even a story? I told my mom. Yeah. I probably should have done this on 325 and not 350. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. These are like biscuits. Biscuits. They look like they're going to be the texture of biscuits. I don't know. I'll have to wait till they're cool. So they came out looking like this. not quite crunchy. I don't know what that is. Maybe it goes the egg way. Anyway, I just wanted to get this out of my fridge. I'm like, this is taking up so much space because this bowl is so giant. So, I'm going to try a real crunchy cookie probably next, next time. I'm going to do brownies next. That might be later today. And then I'm going to do a crunchy cookie again at some other point. And then, my stomach hurts so bad. Um, what do I want to tell you? I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm probably, I'll save it for another time. All right, I'm over it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, exhilarating process with me. If you didn't, honestly, I don't know how or why or how you could have found it. Like, this is so boring. And I'm mostly doing it for myself and in case other people are seeing it. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're even, you even got this far. Like, for real. Um, I'll see you soon.